In this video, I'm going to go through and demonstrate how to use sound variations in Studio One. Sound variations are a way of changing articulations without programming MIDI notes into your piano roll or MIDI data. You can also use sound variations to go a little bit deeper. So for those of you who enjoy using UACC standard, you can also send continuous controller changes using sound variations, and you can also use program changes as well. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using standard um, key switching in order to create my sound variation. To create a sound variation, we click on the MIDI that we have created. And in the inspector in the bottom left corner, we have a sound variations option with a little wrench toggle. The wrench toggle will allow us to set up the sound variation. Once you have the sound variation box open, you can create a folder to organize your sound variations. For this particular folder, I'm going to call this by the patch that I'm creating a sound variation for, which is the strings high in Abbey Road 1. Once that's created, we can then press the new variation button. Each variation is going to represent an articulation. We're going to create the variations in the order in which they appear in the plugin. So the first one would be longs, followed by long consorts, tremolo, spiccato, and then finally pizzicato. So now we've created the articulations. Um, on the right hand side, under the activation sequence, this is where we can change the style of switching. So for those of you who are using UACC, you can drop down here and change the controller. So for example, for a long articulation with UACC, that would be a CC32 and the data two value would be one. Like mentioned earlier, we're going to be focusing this video primarily on generic key switching. So I'm going to make this note on, note off. In Abbey Road 1 and all Spitfire products, the generic key switching increment up from C minus two, which means for the input and the activation sequence, we need to increment the sound variations up from C minus two. And in this case, it would go up to E minus two. So once we've done that, we can close away the sound variations editor. To switch the articulations, we highlight all the MIDI notes that we want to be under that articulation. Then using the inspector on the left hand side, we change the articulation under the sound variation. And then for bar two, I'm going to change this to pits. So now when I play back from bar number one, we'll hear the spiccatos up to bar two and then the pizzicatos from bar two onwards. If you have any further questions about articulation switching and sound variations, please do get in touch with us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.